everyone, I'm Stunnington. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, going off of... Oh, let me just say this first, I just opened the game, and this is what I'm greeted to. Four lovely young anime girls, with pretty skewed, small skirts, and with text box saying, This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. And judging by the few reviews I've looked at this, I guess they're serious about it. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to do much editing. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit... Oh. Moe warning. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I want to agree, but for the sake of it, sure. What would make sound? I mean, how could someone so cute be so disturbing? Game's not suited for you. Okay, we get that. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, look at all them. Please enter your name. Uh, shoot. Oh, forward. Um, Gato. Here, Gato. Gato. I am cat. I'm guessing this is a girl. Hey, hey. I see an annoyingly annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. Sayori, I'm just thinking of my neighbor and good friend since we are children. You know, the kind of friend you you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but sunning around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel bad I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Aw, oh, jeez, got to. Smooth criminal. Eh? You say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's me and Gato. Well, if people are st well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, dude. Fine, fine. Oh, what? That was a sly, sick burn. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you didn't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. I changed his voice to be a little more subtle. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Gato, have you decided on a club to join yet? I don't know, maybe the literature club. <laughs> wink wink, nudge nudge, third wall breaking. A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I, I don't have no recollection of what you're talking about. Who are you? What are you talking about? Where am I? Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh yeah. Gato knows the shit. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Pfft. Who needs socialization and skills for college? Not me. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Uh, that's a bit creepy. And I know you're happy now, 
But I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Oh shit, I don't want to be a neat. You trust me, right? Don't let me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah. I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind, at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with an anime club. Aw oh, yeah, dude. Hello. Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Aw. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Whoa. Sick burn. You don't need to wait. You, you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Aw, shit. She came to bring me up that encouragement. Uh, if you know what I say. Uh. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Ooh. Is it the literature club? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to, to your club. Eh? Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. I, uh, I had a hunch. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Oh. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. Oh. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Yeah, come on. Well, oh gosh, that face. Oh my gosh. Where's your nose? I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, cupcakes. <laughs> Don't make me promises. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Maybe both. I let her a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And off to the literature club we go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Totally worth it. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! Yay! I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh? I glance around the room. Uh, voice, voice, voice. Welcome to the Lecture Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, she got a lot of deeper feminine voice, okay. Sayuri always says nice things about you. Really? Uh, it's another, uh, I can't remember all the voice. Heh, <laughs> seriously? Uh, heh, <laughs> seriously? Ser seriously? You brought a boy? Yeah, I'll go with that. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Gato, what a nice surprise. She seems very carefree and... Airheaded, in my opinion. I'll go with that. Welcome to the club. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. Harem. This club. Harem. 
is full of incredibly cute girls. Harem! 100% harem! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. This is sorry. Not too cute. Hmm. Oh, she got the little blush. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. I mean, probably. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayuri. You can, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayuri says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Always full of energy. Yeah, hi. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Her name is Yuri. Nice. Ah, oh, gotta love them Yuri names. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Gato. Monica smiles sweetly. I can remember her voice. Her voice is easy. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Well, dude, this is your chance. Get in there. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Gato. We made room for you at a table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Okay. No need to fight. Sorry, I got a little excited. Then how about I... Oh shoot, what's her voice again? Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayuri mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica, one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped e tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated like little cats. Ooh, fancy! The whisker drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehehe, <laughs> well, you know. Oh, she got the little fang thingy. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Oh! Anticipation. Knees weak, palms are sweaty, there's vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti! Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Oh shit. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? It's a bit weird. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Oh shit, we got the tsundere off in here. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> oh shoot. No, don't do that, Mike. Made them, made them for you or anything? Eh? Well, you technically did. Sayuri said. Well, maybe. Well, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. Uh, Baka. Uh, all right. All right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the, next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this class. Oh shoot, wrong voice. 
You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. Oh, nice. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I mean, I, I guess. Ah, I, I guess. Got to. We're on the same wavelength, dude. <laughs> don't you let, don't, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just, wait. Okay, yeah. Yuri's just trying to depress you. Eh? <laughs> That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and Rini might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. Ooh. Oh yeah, I can do that. Nice. So what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was forced against my will, more or less. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practicing dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Oh, you're the president. Nice. Monica. Oh, shoot. Monica. I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the de debate club last year? Haha. <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Politics? Oh, don't want to get into that. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Yeah, that sounds fun. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't any more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Oh, really? Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Yay! Right, everyone? Yay! We'll do our best. Yeah, you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. It's weird, sickening at most. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Maybe. So, Gato, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, uh, porn? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? Nice. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Oh, dude, say something. Back me up! Be my wingman! Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What do I say? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Aww. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Aw, she's all about that Fifty Shades of Grey life! Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are juicy novels that build deep in complex fantasy worlds. Oh. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Oh! And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Oh! Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Yeah, I get that. But you know, 
I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? That's a mouthful. <sighs> what? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh. Ah, I read a horror book once. I read a horror book once. Once. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, here you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Oh, hi. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Oh. Never mind. Oh, jeez, speak up. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, cute things. What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Oh, really? It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you. Sayuri slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Oh. I'm not cute. Aw, accept the cuteness in your life, girl. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Well, I think that's impressive. Yeah. I've never written that many poems in my life. So find out someone that can is pretty cool to me. Why don't you share them, Why don't you share them with us sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, I wouldn't? Ah. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Oh, dude. That's deep. It's real home. You must be willing to open to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, showing even the deepest research of your heart. That's not like something an exhibitionist would say. Do you have any... Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help not keep you comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh shit. Um, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Oh. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh. Then next time we meet, We'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Da, da, da. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and tr strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Gato? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. Yeah, that's true. There's still the anime club. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... The anime club! Oh, jeez. Whoa! Oh, those piercing eyes! Oh, goodness! My goodness! <laughs> this is appointment and sadness! Jeez! I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching. I'll go for the next episode in the coming future. And I'll see you all later, I guess.
Ah, oh, jeez.